We also got a little secret to tell you guys. How good is that? Frothing. What a nice looking fish. back to another episode of the ghost fishing uh, this morning I now uh, this big fella we got to get him on the mat he's been in a rock pool because I actually hooked him in the dark sort of first light but um I just wanted to hold on to him for a while so I could get some sunlight out and show you guys uh, keep him alive I don't like filming dead fish so He's absolute stunner. That's him there on that bait junkie. He yeah, absolutely cream that. Um, I think it's actually called pearl trout, the color out of all things. <laughs> yeah, pearl trout is the color of that. Um, it, it looked exactly like the uh, pike that I saw the tailor spit up. Um, yeah, that was mad. I've never seen anything like it. But the good news I wanted to give you guys is I've invested in a GoPro 10 right there that I'm using. Um, I'm gonna play around with the settings for a few things and get some footage um, just to see how it works. It's all new to me and it looks sick. So yeah, that was me exciting news that I've got. Um, I'm gonna take this guy home. So he's gonna come home. I need a good feed of fish. I'm just gonna get some camera and play around with the settings now. And um, obviously it was another episode this morning down on the stones, as you can see in my hands. So um, pretty stoked as this was the reward I got from my early morning start. Bit of gulp for the morning. <clears throat> croaky voice. Early. Get the croaky voice out of that. Alright, first cast. Oh, bait junkie. Yes. Oh. Busting. I was on. I lost him. I think because I, uh, drag was too heavy first thing in the morning. Spewing. Always check your drag. It's too heavy. Oh, you got pummeled by it.
on. Good fish. Oh yeah. Let's get some foam. Oh, it's trying to get the weight off. And this guy come out. Smash me while I was jiggling it. Good fish, real good fish. That was crazy. I'm not even kidding. I had weed stuck on my and I was trying to get it off. I haven't landed him yet. But um He came up and grabbed it while I was jigging on it. And he's a solid fish. Let's go try and land him. There he is. Yes, on the new GoPro. Woohoo! He's a solid fish. Better one I've got in a while. No way. So, a bait junkie. Way down the gulf. This guy. Try and get it out. Alright, so, uh, third cast, absolutely smashed on that last one. Dive or bait junkie doing some damage. He's a good maybe meter fish, so I'm pretty wrapped. He gave me a good run. Crazy part was I was trying, if you see it on footage, I was trying to get seaweed off my um, rod. Just got another bump. Trying to get seaweed off my rod and he grabbed it. I felt him grab it while I was jiggling it around, trying to get the weed off. Incredible. 
Like I said, every fisherman has their day. And today it looks like it might be my day. That was a morning sunrise. Incredible. Rod that I'm using in reel today. 10 prevail, uh, 10 foot, 10 to 12 kilo. And I have a Daiwa BG 5000. Kind of heavy setup, hopping plastics, but um, good for muscle and bigger fish around and lifting them up off high places. And on that, I usually run 50 pound, but I couldn't get 50. So I've got 300 meters of 40 pound and 40 pound leader. Black magic leader. Love that stuff. 20 bucks a roll and I, it's never failed me. The lines are sunline. Yes, another one on the hop. I'm bouncing it. You kidding? What have we got this time? Taylor, I think. Yeah, good Taylor. You take him in. Oh, yes, big greenback. Oh, no way. Solid greenback. Oh, look what he's spitting out. Spat out my lure. That Taylor just spat out that full little pike. So that's what they're chasing. And have a look at this Daiwa. Um, bait junkie. I didn't know that they were out there today, the pike. But look at that for match hatch. Dark top. Kind of that underbelly. It's insane. Match. How's me not? That's me not after fighting that fish. Slipped a bit. Man, I better uh, get that fixed up. Dude. You have got to be kidding me. I somehow got my line inside there and I can't figure it out to save me life. It's basically just caught inside. I gotta wipe my lure off and pull it out. Wow. need a rest I'm halfway home um, just wanted to say uh, thanks again for hanging out with me guys and um, thanks for watching another episode of the ghost fishing hope you guys have a lovely day it's morning I'm off to work um, always check in on your mental health if you're not make sure you call someone talk to somebody it's always important especially this time the way the world's running at the moment um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed that episode. Uh, sorry, that fish went 87 centimeters. And um, yeah, it's one I'm gonna take home. I've got it down here. Uh, don't wanna show much of the dead kill. Um, obviously YouTube's starting to get a bit uh, anti with that sort of stuff and they're blocking people's channels. Until next time guys, we'll be back out here again, hopefully, or who knows, I could be anywhere. I'd chase everything. Obviously this is my favorite style of fishing ever uh, off the rocks. Water's warming up, mackerel will be starting or maybe a month and that'll be our main focus for me too. So I'll be chasing those guys as soon as I see any signs of them getting around. I can't wait, this is my year, I'm getting one this year. And um, yeah, we'll see how this GoPro 10 goes. We'll give this guy a run for its money in the next few years uh, I don't think I'll be buying anything else for a long time I've got a little screen on the front now I can see everything I'm doing I love that it's so good I tried a bit of slow motion basically gonna just chuck it up quickly on there just to show you what some of the features do it's nothing I'm no pro with this stuff I'm just an amateur amateur filmer amateur fisherman just loves it very passionate I got into it because I love fishing and then other people tell me that I talk too much so obviously with my passion for fishing and other stuff um, I talk a lot so yeah 
Last thing I wanted to catch up on, I want to give a mad ups shout out and respect to Canelo for taking out planning the boxing world champion. Mate, that guy is incredible. It's another sport I'm passionate about. Fishing, surfing and boxing are the three things that I love, um, other than my family, which is my number one priority. Anyway, I'll see you guys next time. Hope you enjoy. Peace.